Hey Casters, Derek here, Big Six Clan. Today we're gonna be making a rack and pinion system for a door for a geocache. Let's get started. One of the things I've been wanting to add into a cache for a while is I've been wanting to add some gears in there and the gears operate the door in some aspect. And I just haven't been able to find a good design for gears for that. Um, it would be a lot easier if I had a 3D printer or a CNC machine because that'd make it a lot easier to cut out. But I finally found some plans um, once again on online. It was going through Pinterest and it went down the rabbit hole and led me to another location. So what I did, I printed up the plans on paper and then I took some double stick tape and put it, put the double stick tape on the paper and then put it on some plexiglass. Um, originally this was supposed to be done in wood, but because it's gonna be out in the elements, I figured doing it in plexiglass would make it a lot better and more resilient to the weather. So I put it on the plexi and then cut out where I'm going to use my bandsaw, disc sander, drommel, drill press, all those different tools to get this out. Um, it's gonna be very tedious. Um, like I said, if this doesn't work, I may be reaching out to one of my friends that has a CNC machine. So, hey, Bounce Mounts, I might be reaching out to you if this doesn't work, uh, because I really wanna do this rack and pinion uh, system on a door to get into a cache. So let's go ahead and start working on that. All right, so the first step is done. Got the holes drilled uh, where they're gonna go. Now I'm gonna run it through the bandsaw and cut out each section and then start doing the teeth on the bandsaw. So I've got several of the gears cut out now using the bandsaw, but some of these smaller gears like this, uh, that's getting just a little too close to the bandsaw with my fingers and I'm not comfortable with that. So now I'm gonna go to using my Dremel and start cutting those gears out as well. And also use that Dremel to clean up some of the cuts on the bandsaw as well. Wow, that was tedious, cutting out all these little teeth on all these little gears. Man, we'll see if it actually works when I start doing the assembly, which is what's up next. We're gonna be starting to assemble everything. Now, I've already pre-drilled some holes into this board where it's gonna go, and I have my rails, so I'll mount these to the top and the bottom here so that when I put the pinion in, it'll start being able to slide back and forth. Um, we'll probably have to make some adjustments on some of the teeth, but we'll see what happens and see if it actually works once I get this door together. So I've got the rack and pinion installed into what's gonna be the door itself. And when you turn this uh, gear here, it will pull those pinions back and forth. So getting to this point right here where these are kind of even sort of working, it's been about eight hours just building this part of it. I mean, going through and putting the teeth into this, uh, these gears and everything, was rather tedious with using the bandsaw. Having a CNC machine or being able to 3D print this, wow, that would have been fantastic. I would love to be able to do that. But with having to go it this way, it's taken quite a bit of time. Now, before I go any further, um, I'm going to kind of tweak this out over the next week and everything, kind of see 
if there's any other adjustments I need to make. I will be putting some dowels onto the end of the pinions here, which will actually lock into the top or the bottom or the sides. I don't know if the door's gonna open this direction or this direction or this direction. So we're gonna figure that out um, over the next few days and everything. And on the next behind the cash, I'll be finishing up the build, building the rest of the birdhouse and putting the, actually installing this in. Hey, thank you for joining me today. I know this has been a little bit different, but this has been kind of tedious. Now, once again, I do have the link to the plans for this rack and pinion set down in the description, so check those out. All right, don't go anywhere. Go check out another Behind the Cache and check out the story Behind the Cache, just right over here.